Come on now, Dougal. The bishop will be here any minute. All right. Now, do you remember what I told you? <laughs> huh? It's very simple. On no account are you to mention what we were talking about last night. All right, Jeff. What were we talking about last night, Ted? <laughs> you know, the rumours about the bishop's little mistake. All right, yeah. What mistake was that now, Ted? <laughs> his son. His son in America. Oh, yes. He's a son. <laughs> in America. Yes, well, so they say. Right, right. Well, that's news to me, Ted. <laughs> We were talking about it last night, Dougal, to Father Hernandez. Who? <laughs> oh, right, the Cuban lad, yeah. He gave us a video. <laughs> the bishop, you remember? Right, OK. Just forget all about it. Just forget about it. Just do not mention the sun. Have you got that? I have, Ted. The lights are on, but there's nobody home. <laughs> Father Crilly, Bishop Redden is here. Hell's bells. Right, show him in. Dougal, now remember. Not a word about the sun. <laughs> Hello, Bishop. How are you? Come on in. Sit down. Sit down there, Your Grace, beside uh, Father Dougal. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, some tea, please. Oh, certainly, <laughs> Father Crilly. How's the sun? What? The son of God! How's the son of God? How's everything in the world of religion? <laughs> the world of religion? What the hell are you talking about, Quilly? Well, you know. Oh, Mrs. Doyle, any sign that tea? <laughs> here I am, here I am. Oh, isn't this grand? I'm fine, thank you, Mrs. Doyle. Will you not have a cup of tea, Bishop Lennon? No, I am not going to stay. I want to get right to the point and get the hell out of here. Are you sure you won't have a cup? I am certain, thank you. Go on, have a cup. No, thank you. Now, I... look what everybody else is having a cup. Would you not have one yourself? I do not have the time You'll now, You'll feel Quilly. left out. You'll be Bishop Piggy in the middle. I'm fine. I am fine. Are you sure you won't have a cup? Just a drop. No! Bishop Piggy in the middle. <laughs> Just say yes, Your Grace. It's, it's quicker, believe me. All right, then, yes, Mum. A grand so. <laughs> well, I hope you're not doing too much damage here, huh? Jack? Are you behaving yourself? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Your Grace, uh, what brings you to these parts? Thinking of sending us back to our parishes. <laughs> Fat chance. You're here until I tell you otherwise. Do you think I'd let Jack back into a normal parish after the wedding he did in Athlone, huh? <laughs> uh, yes, but, but surely I, I'm all right. No, no, no. No, no. You were here until the, all of that money is accounted for. <laughs> I didn't know what happened to that money. I... Enough! You went to Las Vegas whilst that poor child was supposed to be in Lourdes. <laughs> And as for this, cabbage. <laughs> the mere idea of letting him back into the real world after the Black Rock incident. Yes, that was unfair. The amount of people's lives irreparably damaged. Uh, there were only nuns. <laughs> nuns are people too. My God, the strings I had to pull to stop the Vatican getting involved. I do not want to talk about it. I just want to get this film business over and done with. F film? What, what film? This blasphemous film. The passion of St. Tibulus. Now, His Holiness has banned it. But because of some loophole, the bloody thing is showing on this godforsaken dump. Oh, yes, that's right. Uh, is it any good, do you know? I don't care if it's any good or not. All I know is that we have to be seen to be making a stand against it. I have been brought back from my holiday in California to sort it out. <laughs> and that's where you and Larry and Mo come in. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I know that normally you wouldn't be able to organise a nun shoot in a nunnery. But despite that, it's up to you to make the church's position clear. Make some kind of a protest at the cinema. Even you should be able to manage that. Oh, thanks very much. Listen, this is very serious. Don't make a balls of it, right? I'll be in touch. Your Grace, that, this, this isn't really my area. Nothing is your area, Crilly. You do not have an area, unless it's a kind of a play area with sandcastles and buckets and spades. Now, do what you're told, right?
Bye now. <laughs> What's this then, Your Grace? Uh, why am I looking at a globe of the world? Well, um, how can I explain? Firstly, a resume of the last few days. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I came in here with the idea of you making a dignified protest about this film. Do you remember that? Yes, yes. Yeah, good. You know, just to show the church's opposition to the film. But, and this is the part that I find most interesting, you have actually made this film the most successful film ever shown here. Isn't that great? Huh? <laughs> I mean, people are coming from all over the country to see the film. They're even coming from Gdansk to see the film. <laughs> and look at this, look, look at that, look. There's you, there's Forrest Gump, and there's Father Jack actually watching the film. Now there's a turn up for the books, what? <laughs> right, now, I think the best thing would be for ye three to continue your careers as priests come film promoters outside of my jurisdiction. Huh? Now, Ted, I thought that you might like to go to America, hmm? What part do you think? Well, um, Las Vegas? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ted, I meant South America. <laughs> oh, you see, there's a lovely little island off the coast of Suriname, and... Uh, <laughs> they have a couple of tribes there. You're going to love this. <laughs> and they have been knocking the shit out of each other since 1907. <laughs> and we have never been able to find the right man to bring them together in a spirit of Christian harmony. But I think that you are the man. Well, thanks very much. No need to thank me. By the way, do you know how to make uh, arrows? <laughs> no. Well, not to worry, not to worry. It'll come to you. <laughs> now, Double, over to you. Isn't it funny how some of these places in the Philippines can keep on going without a proper sewerage system, hmm? I'm right there, Your Honor. Now, Jack, where can we send you, huh? Jack, wake up. Bishop, I wouldn't do that. You shut up. Jack, wake up. Fake <laughs> off! Oh, my God, if you think this place is bad, wait till you see your new parish. Just wait until you see. <laughs> well, that's it, then. I suppose, I suppose all we can do now is pack. <clears throat> Ted, I don't want to go to the Philippines. I mean, I can't even spell the Philippines. I know it begins with an F, but I... <laughs> I know, I know. If only there was some way we could persuade the bishop to change his mind. If only we had something we could bargain with. I don't know. What's that, Jack? Did you get a film? <laughs> the last thing I want to watch now is a film. Well, that was great, wasn't it? <laughs> You're right there, Ted. Um, should we phone him now or will we watch it again? I think we'll watch it again. Hello, Father Ted Crilly speaking. Crilly, it's me, Bishop Brennan. Oh, feck. <laughs> what? Who is this? There is no Crilly here. <laughs> God, Dougal, I'm just have to sing feck to Bishop Brennan. Oh, he won't like that, Ted. Maybe it's all right, though. Uh, I put on a foreign voice so that you'll think he dialed the wrong number. <laughs> really? Ah, hello, Bishop Brennan. <laughs> I think you got the wrong number when you called there. <laughs> Shut up, Quilly. Shut up. I'll make this quick. What would the following words suggest to you? Jack sleepwalking, and bollock naked. <laughs> oh, no. Now, this is the third time in the last six months. You may have heard of Brian Noonan, hmm? A very important junior minister and a personal friend of mine. And I can tell you the last thing he and his family needs to see is the vision of an elderly priest wearing only a pair of socks and a hat. <laughs> now, I'll be around on Thursday to examine the security arrangements. And, Crilly... Yes? If you ever try to bullshit me like that again, I will rip off your arms. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sure it won't happen again. It better not. <laughs> Priests walking about in the nude is the last thing that we need. <laughs> yes. And uh, as you can see, we've installed a new closed circuit camera. Uh -huh. And we've added a few modifications to Jack's bed. Yes, yes. Now, uh, this is new, isn't it? This, uh... Combined with the spikes, it makes escape almost impossible. <laughs> and we also have these new pyjamas. Very easy to put on, very hard to get off. So that's the old nudity sorted. And uh, you have the... Ah, yes, the rope. <laughs> I'd like to see him chew through that. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Plus, in the unlikely event of him getting out, we have this tracking device which should give us an easy recapture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that costs 50 pounds. Um, maybe we could get that back from the diocese. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> uh, hello, Len. Don't call me Len, I'm a bishop. <laughs> yes, Dougal, uh, your grace is more appropriate. Oh, your grace, right, hello. Anyway, uh, <laughs> again, I am dragged away from my warm fireside to come and deal with the cast of Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> You behave yourself now, Jack. You listening to me, Jack? No! <laughs> oh, oh, would you like a drink, Your Grace? I have a small one, please. Thank you. <laughs> just, uh, would you like ice with it? Uh, a drop of soda. <laughs> I'll just get the glasses. Hey, come on! Would you like a cup of tea, Your Grace? Time for Jimmy Poo's. <laughs> oh, thanks very much, Mrs. Doyle. That'll be grand. Bishop Brennan, I thought I should tell you your car is parked outside. Yes, I know it is. I parked it there myself. The tyres look a bit flat. I could give them a bit of a blow-up for you at the pump. No! What kind of air do you normally put in them? We have ordinary... Or, well, that's all we have, actually. <laughs> and if you're looking for the wipers, I have them in the kitchen. What? They look like they needed a little wash. The only trouble is, I broke the side window while I was snapping them off. Leave my car alone and don't touch it again. Just one question, Your Grace. Is your car diesel or petrol? Leave it alone, Mrs. Doyle. Oh, no, 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 no. This is just curiosity, Your Grace. Diesel if or... If diesel is diesel! Right. So it's not petrol. No, it's not petrol. Right. So it would do a terrible amount of damage if I put petrol in. Yes, it would. It will completely ruin the car's engine. Well, <laughs> I certainly won't be doing that then. <laughs> I suppose you must clock up a fair old mileage every year going round the diocese, you know. <laughs> doing the old uh, bishop sort of really, really, really people. Where and... is my room? Well, um, yours is the spare room, Your Grace. It's the first on the right. Uh -huh. Uh, this lettuce. Oh, no, thanks. I've already had some. You, you take it. No, no, really, no, please, really, please, really, I mean this lettuce. Where did it come from? You, you don't have rabbits, do you? No, of course no. Because, you see, I don't like them at all. I had an experience once with someone. It wasn't very nice. They got into a lift with me and they started to nibble at my cape and, and everything. It was, well, you've absolutely nothing to worry about, Your Grace. <laughs> no, that's just where we, um, where we grow the lettuce. <laughs> You, you grow lettuce indoors in a cage. Yes, it's safer, you know. Um, no one can steal it and, uh, well, you know, it, it, it brightens up the room. Aha. Uh hmm. -huh. Um, Quilly, what is this? <laughs> That's, um, caviar. <laughs> caviar. <laughs> Yes, well, it's not every day we have a bishop around, so we thought we'd get the caviar out. <laughs> right, so what you have done is you have spread some caviar down there so I can get down on my hands and knees and eat off the floor. Yes. <laughs> what do you think I am, Krilly, a pony? <laughs> I'm going to my bed. Where did you put them, Dougal? The bunnies? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere really safe, Ted. Where would that be? Guess. It's almost like the type of place you wouldn't even think of. <laughs> God, uh, I don't know. Oh, that small room behind the kitchen. The coal cellar. 
I've got it. The shed. No, it's not the shed. Come on, Ted, think about it. Where's the last place you'd think I'd put them? <laughs> I suppose the last place I'd think it, you'd put them would be, um... W would actually be... <laughs> Bishop Brennan's room. Bingo! <laughs> think about it, Ted. I put the bunnies in the last place he'd ever expect to find them, in his own room. He'd never look there. <laughs> Really, really, what is it now? I just wanted to say, the whole bishop thing, mm. fair play to you. I mean, you probably get a lot of this, but I just want to say, you know, well done. I mean, who'd have thought somebody from Limerick would get this far? <laughs> <laughs> but all the ones you studied with in the seminary, all the other priests, they, they must be feeling pretty sick at the moment. They must be looking at the TV and going, God, how did that awful age you get to be a bishop? Well, it's no mystery to me, you know, because I've always felt you have a sort of a bishopy air about you. <laughs> anyway, I'd just like to say, can I shake your hand? Well done. <laughs> really, come here to me. I hate you. <laughs> so all that means absolutely nothing to me. Oh, God, I'm after falling down the stairs. <laughs> Would you believe I just fell down the stairs there? Well, are you are you injured? Uh, I don't know. I, I have a bit of a twinge, all right. My arm. I, I can't move. Uh, if you want somebody to call an ambulance. Ah, no. I think I'll just lie here for a while. Rest is probably the best thing for me now. Yeah. Yes. Ah, yes. Bit of a rest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh! Did you see that documentary last night about Hiroshima? <laughs> Who would have thought an atomic bomb could do so much damage? I'm going to bed, Krilly. I'm all right, Bishop. I'm fine now, thanks. Phew! <laughs> did Len find the rabbits? <laughs> what did he say? God, look, I'd better tell you. I'm, I'm... Did he call me Len again? <laughs> <laughs> you address me by my proper title, you little bollocks. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Bishop Len Brennan. What is he on about now, huh? God knows. What are you on about now, Dougal, you big Egypt? I was just asking, did the bishop find the rabbit? Shut up, Dougal, you big man, Egypt! Oh, your grace, your grace. <laughs> May I go in first? Uh, Why? I'd just like to go to the toilet. All the other toilets in the house are broken. Oh, it's just number one. I don't want to know! <laughs> Oh, I needed that. <laughs> but there's no toilet in here. <laughs> oh, my God. Not the bishop's room. Come on, Dougal. Dougal, get as many as you can. Come on. All right, Ted. Come on, lads. Shh, shh, shh. Mind, mind that one on your foot. Oh, no, I was just I was just Oh, sweet. <laughs> Just a bad dream, Your Grace. <laughs> Over in a mood. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, stall them for a few seconds. Come on, Dugan. Hello. This is the housekeeper. Uh, Your Grace, is that a hat you're wearing? It's actually called a beretta. Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's enough stalling. In you go. That's very true, Dougal. And you see the importance of the Eucharist in the Mass from what St. Paul says here. The way I see it, Ted... Mm -hmm. Pretending to talk about religion. Krilly! Ah! <laughs> Hello, Len. <laughs> Don't call me Len, you little prick. <laughs> I'm a bishop. All oh, right. Well done. <laughs> you know, this type of thing, 24 hours a day, huh? All right, Krilly, I'll make this short. Show me the likeness and I'll be off. I have to be off to Rome tomorrow for an audience with the Pope. I love those programmes. Have you seen the one with Elton John? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Hello, Father Jessup. 
helping Bishop Brennan, then? No, I'm up in space doing important work for NASA. <laughs> now show me this thing, Krilly. It's, uh, it's very like you, Your Grace. Oh, really? No. <laughs> You're better looking, of course, though. <laughs> I, I, I don't mean that in a, an intimate way. <laughs> Nasty day, did you come by the new road? No, we went round by southern Yemen. <laughs> anyway, be before we look at the skirting board, uh, do you mind if uh, Father Maguire takes a few photographs? Go on, Dougal. <laughs> oh, this is nothing! Nothing! I, um, I suppose, I suppose we better go. <laughs> oh, now, this is a new one. <laughs> Before we look at it, perhaps we should say a prayer. No, I don't want... Oh, all right, then, all right. Carry on, carry on. <clears throat> oh, Lord, at this time of great joy for Bishop Brennan... When you have seen fit to put his face into the skirting board of our house, we ask you to consider the gift of forgiveness. You, who are the most forgiving of all gods. Of all gods? What other gods are there, Krilly? Uh, false gods. Oh, Lord, heap blessings upon wise Bishop Brennan, the best bishop in the world by miles. For he endureth without spite. Amen. <laughs> there it is, Your Grace. Have a look. It's, it's under the window there. Well, <laughs> I don't see anything, Krilly. <laughs> what happened there? Krilly just jumped through the window. Krilly! Krilly, are you out there? What's going on? Why did he jump through the window? An audience with Lily Savage. That was good as well. <laughs> the Pope, that'll be just great. Ah, uh, Krilly, why, why did you jump through the window? J jump through the window? I didn't jump through the window, did I? You did. You jumped through the window. Uh, right, it, it was because of shock. I saw your face. Did you not see it in the skirting board? No, I did not. <laughs> did you not? <laughs> I thought it smiled at me. Did you see it, Dougal? No. <laughs> God, it was extraordinary. <laughs> and, and do you not notice the sort of holy smell in the room? Ted, that might be just Jack's underpants hamper. <laughs> I'll put it back in his room. <laughs> Look at it. It's uncanny. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised you're not appearing on more things, actually. You're such a top-of-the-range bishop. Really, it is just an indistinct squiggle. Now, come on, Jessup, we're leaving. So, Krilly, where is my cloak? Your Grace, Father Krilly, I just heard on the news that they've taken the roads in. <laughs> they've taken the roads in? Yes, when the rain is bad, they store them in a warehouse on the east side of the island. <laughs> what? I have to be in Rome tomorrow for an audience with the Holy Father. Don't worry, Len, they repeat those shows all the time. <laughs> They'll have the roads back out by tomorrow. So, essentially, we have to spend the night? Yes. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Will I make up the beds in the spare room? No. We'll sleep outside in a ditch. <laughs> OK, so. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> no, we'd rather die of thirst. OK, so. Um, Mrs Doyle, um, I think Father Jessup was being a bit... Uh, Sarcastic. What? Why are you being sarcastic, Father Jessup? No, we want to die of thirst. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, I know it's a bit confusing, but just do the opposite of what Father Jessup says. OK. So, you really do want a cup of tea? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> The 
McCracken awakes. Did we disturb you, Father Hackett? Ice biscuits! <laughs> what? How dare you speak to his grace like that? Apologize immediately! <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Now, that's sarcasm. <laughs> what was that? Mice or something. <laughs> Can you see anything? No, I can't. But, oh, just listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. There seems to be a very crude watercolour painting <laughs> of a man in a bishop's hat. <laughs> really? <laughs> Tell you what must have happened. <laughs> Dougal probably didn't want you to be disappointed, so he must have drawn that himself. Ah. He meant well. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you'll want to be off. Catch that ferry, huh? We'll order you a taxi. <laughs> so, off to see the Pope in Rome. I bet you're really looking forward to that. <laughs> well, did you see anything? No, nothing there at all, sadly. You were right. It was a wild goose chase. Uh, where's Father Jessup? Uh, maybe he went on ahead. <laughs> OK, so. See you soon, Your Grace. <laughs> Come back as soon as you can. <laughs> Bye! Bye. <laughs> Grace, you are right. <laughs> you were right. And from Ireland, Bishop Leonard Brennan. He did kick me up the ass! <laughs> <laughs> Get me on the first plane back to Ireland. <laughs> now, goddammit! What are ye looking at, huh? <laughs> Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, no. you back. Come out from there now. No. <laughs> no! I will give you ten seconds, Krilly. It's just that I can see another vision of you, Your Grace. The, the, the bits of fluff seem to be arranging themselves into some sort of bishop formation. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> Great to see you back. Uh, what brings you here? What brings me here when I suppose the company, huh? The fresh air, the view from my window of that great pile of sludge. But number one on the list would be the matter of you kicking me up the ass. Yes, I think that is the one I would prioritize. Kicking? What? did I kick him? Don't try my patience, Grilly. You kick me up the ass. Try to deny it, and I will have you fed to the dogs. Why, why would I do that? You, you'd kill me. You're damn right I would. I would never, ever kick you up the arse. Sure, I think you're great. Well, I... Huh? Are, are you sure you're not making a, a terrible, terrible mistake? Do you, do you think that could be possible? Of course it's not. I, well, I mean, you know, it did occur to me that it was a bit, um... A bit unbelievable, you know. <laughs> it's unbelievable because it didn't actually happen. Mm. I swear to you, on all that I hold dear, on my life, on my religion, 
on God, on all the saints and angels in heaven. I did not kick you up the arse. <laughs> well, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I need a holiday. Maybe I have been sort of imagining things. You have been imagining things. Have a holiday. You deserve it. Shut up, Quilly. Okie dokie. <laughs> Bye, Bishop Brennan. Bye. Uh, don't worry about the door. <laughs> Well, I come back again soon. Ah, Ted, I got those copies you ordered. Shut up, Doug. <laughs> the one you want to blown up, the 10 by 10. Where do you want that? Where do I want it? Bye, Bishop Brennan. We love you. 